Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another launch showcase for The Sims 4, and this one is pretty darn awesome. This one is called Park Lane! Yes, this is another one of those lots that's in all caps, so that's why I shouted. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is by Flubber32C4. It's on a 40 by 30 lot. It requires get to work, outdoor retreat, and perfect patio stuff. It has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, and it's valued at 96,466 simoleons. So uh, yeah, the reason why I want to show off this lot next is because, well, it has a treehouse, an actual treehouse, and it works too. It is pretty awesome. I'll just uh, show that off real quick first. Because, uh, yeah, it is pretty awesome if you're uh, starting to raise a family and then you can actually have a kid live in the treehouse. <laughs> Be like Calvin and Hobbes almost. You just need a stuffed tiger. <laughs> or Bart Simpson. <laughs> Bart Simpson had his own treehouse, though not as uh, not as good looking as this. <laughs> See, it even has like a few chairs, it has a cooler. And it has like a little air bed. It's pretty awesome. Like, wow, the talent, man. I, I just can't sometimes. I don't even know how people even create things like this. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll show off the rest of the house. So I'll show off the outside. And yeah, there's this really nice pool area over here. Definitely uh, be nice if we could add some slides later on once and diving boards maxes gives them to us and then there's a little uh, grilling barbecue area over here which is pretty cool and there's even like an ottoman to sit on while you're waiting for your burgers to cook then uh, also up here I'll just put the walls up so you can get a better idea of what it's actually like when you sit out here but there's uh, a little, um, little balcony over here with the hot tubs it's a pretty nice view I think I'll actually uh, send, uh, send these two sims into the hot tub and they can see the view of it later. So let's go and check out the interior now. So when you go in here there's like a little hallway. Let's put the walls up for a second. Oh, okay there's not too much to it. Oh that's weird the walls are not covered. I don't know if that's a custom wallpaper that I'm missing or if uh, Flubber32C4 actually forgot to paint it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But uh, other than that, let's go into the kitchen here. And uh, oh, Desiree's already helping herself to some Fruit Loops. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this kitchen, it's it's alright. It's nothing too spectacular, but it does have a decent amount of room because I like having at least two countertop spaces for food just in case two sims decide to make food at the same time or when you decide to have parties. So let's move on to the other side of the front of the house here. So here's a small little bathroom with both a bathtub and a shower. Uh, again it's like nothing too spectacular but it's still pretty nice and it more than uh, gets the job done because yeah there's both a bathtub and a shower. So let's see what's behind here. So okay there's a, a double bed here. Huh, it's again a pretty small room. I'm not sure if this is intended to be a guest room because I haven't really explored the house in full myself yet, but uh, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of bare minimum almost. I do like the way that the bedspread is matched with the painting though, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's just uh, go up here. Okay, so now we're over in the dining room slash living room. And there's the same painting again. Not bad, it's kind of like modern and open a little bit. And uh, there's like the living room right here. It is pretty nice. I like how there's like the bookshelf uh, right next to the stairs. That does look pretty nicely laid out. All right, so I guess that's pretty much all there is to the downstairs. Yeah. Oh, there's one more bathroom. I almost missed it. It seems to be a bit smaller than the other one. There isn't really much to show off here. It's just a shower, a sink, and a toilet. <laughs> it's almost the same as like the same wallpaper and everything. So let's go up the stairs. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I guess the bedroom downstairs is actually meant to be like the 
parents' bedroom, and then there's like two beds for kids up here. Let's uh, put the walls up. Oh, okay, we have the same painting like three times in this house. Not too big a deal, I guess, because it, it is a pretty nice painting, but yeah, slightly repetitive. Okay, interesting. So it's almost like you're living in the attic, but not quite. And you can see is the hallway. This is basically what your Sims will see first when they go up the stairs, and then they can, uh, they can go out to the uh, balcony. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, how did, did you get in the wall there? <laughs> oh, oh boy, that might actually cause some routing failures. Like, if I make her go here, they'll probably... Yeah. Ooh, that could be an issue. Oh, wow, can she not even get back in the hot tub? Uh-oh. Ooh, that is bad. That's the major point stocked out of there. Yikes. They have to reset your sim if they end up getting out there. That's pretty bad. Wow. That kind of sucks. It, it's just the thing that happens sometimes when you download houses. Sometimes they look really nice, but then once you actually play the game, then you get some major routing failures. It's kind of unfortunate. Wow. The other, I mean, like, that almost ruins what's a, otherwise a really creative house. I guess you could just take the hot tub out, but then the balcony won't be as interesting. Yeah, there isn't really... I guess you could place the hot tub, like, I don't know, around back here or something like that. Maybe reshuffle some things, but... Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's still, it's still a pretty nice house overall. The parents' bedroom is also, like, yeah, it's kind of meh. It's kind of minimalistic. It's, uh, it seems like what the main focus was on the outside, which it does extremely well, for sure, other than the hot tub. And yeah, I definitely would like to uh, have this in my game for sure somewhere. Just kind of stinks that even with Newcrest, I feel like I'm still wanting more empty lots. Yeah, but as soon as we do get another world, then we can see if I can try to fit this in and maybe uh, put the hot tub somewhere else. Overall, I would still recommend downloading it if you're willing to uh, tweak it to your liking just a little bit. But uh, yeah, I will leave the uh, origin ID in the video description below as I usually do. And be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content from me, including lot showcases like this one, my custom content showcases, my Let's Plays, and much more. So yeah, I will talk to you later, guys, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Lol, you got swag.